Now remember, meteorological summer is June, July, and August, and you're like, well, hold it, Pete, today's August 30th. Well, uh, tomorrow's August 31st, the last day of summer. Well, if my for I'm going with my forecast numbers tomorrow because I know they're going to be exactly right. OK, so with that said, now my high tomorrow is 99 degrees. So how many triple digit days have we had this summer? 47. That ties us for sixth. Number one, we're not going to make it to number one. Number one was 71 back in 2011. 105 degree days, we've had 23. We're not going to hit 105 tomorrow. 23, that means we've, uh, we've, we're in second place. The most is 28 in 1980. Remember 1980, 2011, those were really, really brutal summers here. 40 degree mornings, we've had 44 of those. That puts us in second place. Number one, back to the summer of 2011 when we had 55 of those. The average temperature for the summer, that's the average of the high and the low, the average temperature 88.8, .8, that puts us in third place. We're back to the summer of 2011 when that's the hottest summer on record, the hottest summer we had an average temperature of 90.5 degrees. So there you go. Then you just throw in the drought conditions we're seeing because of the lack of rainfall. Fourth driest summer on record. I have no rain in my forecast. I don't even have any clouds in my forecast tomorrow, let alone any rain. Fourth driest summer, the driest, the summer of 1930. Remember the 30s? Yeah, it was a, it was bad in the 30s. Uh, statistically, 1934, we only picked up uh, 21 hundredths of an inch. So this summer, we've only picked up an inch and a quarter. So, uh, and remember, I mean, I heard the stuff about ERCOT today. You know, the, the wind's not blowing, so we have power issues there. Well, the wind usually doesn't blow in August and September. It's dry. There's a lack of wind, so it's just not not dry like it's been, but we typically in August, it's our driest and certainly our hottest month. Outside right now, we have clear skies here. A little bit of rain down around San Antonio, a couple little spotty showers there. Other than that, uh, Edalia over here off of the East Coast now moving up into the mid-Atlantic, parts of the Southeast. We have some severe thunderstorms up here uh, across parts of uh, North Dakota. There's that big ridge of high pressure. That's the core of the heat, or as we started to call it, the, uh, the heat dome. There it is out to the West. Here it comes, 99 tomorrow, triple digits back in my forecast on Friday, and then it hangs around all Labor Day weekend, and that will keep us in the triple digits. We jump back to 100 or more beginning Friday, or beginning, yeah, beginning Friday, and then we stay there for the foreseeable future. Here's my forecast in detail. Temperatures, look at this. There's the triple digits. They're here right through your Labor Day weekend. My forecast tonight, a nice night, 73. That's the low temperature tonight, a pleasant night tonight. And then as we head through the day tomorrow, sunshine and 99. A dry day, a sunny day, and certainly a hot day. There's the next seven out of 14. Let's start with those first seven. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all triple digits. Next Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday, there's a chance of a stray shower or a thunderstorm. That's the first seven of the 14. Here's the second seven of the 14. Yep. Same old story, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, same old thing. So no rain, just hot temps. The, but Jonah, the one uh, redeeming this. factor there is at least we don't have, you know, at least it's not 105 to 111. I just love that you have a 14 day forecast. What's it gonna be like in April? Can we get that uh, 100 day forecast, 180 day forecast As going? soon as you tell me what their score of the Rangers game is gonna be tomorrow <laughs> night, I will absolutely do that. They lose by one. Well, <laughs> no, that may be right. I don't know the score, but I'm I know going tornadoes in April. How's that? <laughs> oh, oh. I know we're all living on the edge. <laughs>